Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Today is the last day of the COVID recovery series and today we're gonna focus on bar. All you're gonna need is something to use as your guide. Everything will be done very slow. It will not be crazy challenging. Remember, the key word is recovering. Recovery, recovering. You have to listen to our bodies. It's extremely important. I am feeling so much better from um, having COVID. I am not a doctor, so everybody's going to be different, but I have this week eased back into my fitness and it feels really good, but I also have listened to my body and um, just taking it easy. So next week we will go back strong if I feel that's my vision for myself. So next week we'll be back to business as usual. And please do a little quick warm up on your own and let's get started. Okay, everyone, we're gonna start firing up our inner thighs. You don't have to use whatever you're using as your guide, but I'm going to use this as my guide. We're gonna start in releve, have your toes angled out, core tight, dropping down into our tuck. Remember, tuck is heavy tailbone. Going into releve, you can do whatever you want. Like I said, if you don't wanna use your guide, you don't have to, but I am going to use my guide. So, on the up of this move, keep a nice bend in both of your knees okay so right here is where i want you to stop and then you're going to go right back down core is tight pausing for a second right here really focusing on your inner thighs your core is very very engaged also anytime that i do my bar workouts and being in releve is too difficult for you just go and or just stay in flat feet. It's okay. Okay. There's you don't have to. Can always modify. You know, if you do have you know something going on with your feet and it doesn't feel good to be in releve, just stay flat footed. You can also do bar and shoes, grippy socks. I choose to mostly do it with um, bare feet. Okay, I'm already starting to shake. I don't think I have done a bar workout. I can't even begin to tell you, it's been many weeks. So, I love bar. It's probably one of my favorite, um, favorite workouts that I do. To me, bar never gets easier and that's what I love about it. It's, it's pretty challenging. Okay, let's do five more just like we're doing. There's two. Make sure your shoulders and your chest are back and up. Three. Four. We're gonna stay with those knees bent on the up. And right here, we're just gonna, now we're gonna isolate. We're gonna do them very slow for 20. So this is one. Pause oh so slightly on the lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay in that talk, ten more. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Drop those heels down if you're in releve. Now we're gonna face our guide. Focusing on our glutes. So I'm going to put my hands on the guide, have my fingers open. Hip points are going to be square. Left leg is going to be long. And what we're going to do is we're going to really keep that left leg tight. We're going to start in point and then we're going to alternate to flex. First one, first lift. I'm feeling it in my glutes and in my hamstrings. And make sure 
that the right leg, you have a slight bend in the right knee. Okay, from here, we're gonna do 20 ups, alternating. One, two, remember this is isometric, so it's tiny lifts. Three, four, five. You can also look down and make sure that left hip is closed. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Also supporting leg, really got fired up. Keep those hips closed. Starting with flexed foot for 30. Make sure, reminder, reminder, right leg is very tight. You're just changing your foot. There's one, two, slight bend in the left knee, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Oh, okay. Go on to your forearms. We're gonna really open up the left hip now. So have your right toes facing your guide. You're gonna really open up. Let me fix my chair here, get it off the mat a little bit. Um, gonna really open up the left hip. Also have the left knee slightly bent. You are going to be in point. We're gonna do actually an up hold for 30. When you lift the left leg, make sure it's very tight. We do have a bend in it, but I'm flexing my entire left leg. There's five, we're gonna do 30 lifts. Six, remember, isometrics is tiny. Seven, eight, nine, ten. My abs are engaged. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 20, last 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. Okay, right foot's going to stay right where it is. You're going to come onto your hands on your guide. Left leg is going to angle out. You're going to be in point, keeping the left leg very, very tight up here for 30, focusing on the left quad. One, you're in point. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30, drop that leg down. Okay, same thing. So make sure there is a little bend in the right, or the left knee and a little bend in the right. We're gonna open up that right hip. Up for 30, one, two, three, four, five, tummy is engaged, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Go onto your hands, bringing the right leg angled. You're going to have your right toes in point up for thirty. Right leg is tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Drop that leg down. We are going to stay facing our guide. We're really going to fire up both of our quads here. Releve if you choose, dropping down in our tucks. Have your feet hip width apart, shoulders and chest rolling back. And we are going to isolate here for 30. This is one. Pause on the up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Just use your guide as a guide. Don't lean on your counter bar chair, whatever you're working with. Eight. Nine. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. You're gonna stay right. We're gonna stay right here in our tucks. We're gonna go out with both knees for twenty. One, two. So we're not going up and down. We're just opening the knees. Three, four, five. Six, stay in your tuck, please. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20. Okay, hips are square. Now we're going to go in. Look at my legs. I don't know if you can see this on the screen on the video, but they are shaking. So now we're going to go in just an inch for 20. This is one. Staying in our tucks. Two, three. And after this, I promise we'll stretch. Four. Stay with it. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20, drop down, let's do a stretch. Right hand on top of the right ankle, really dropping down the hip for a 10 second quad stretch. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. Another very cold day here where I live. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to focus on our hips now. So left leg first, a little bend in the right knee. Remember, this is just a guide. Hand on your waist. Okay, left leg, we're going to be in point the whole time. So we're going to bend the, so have your legs, kind of measure up your knees like this, and then we're going to open up, keeping the left leg L-shaped. Hip, up, hold here. So pretend that there is a string that someone is lifting on the outer part of your left knee. And right there, you should feel your right, your left hip just get fired up. We're going to go up for 20 in point one, two, three, four, engage in that core, five, six, you should also feel it in your supporting leg, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Drop that leg down, Woo. switch sides. Little bend in the left knee, hand on the waist. Line those knees up, open them up. Up for 20, slow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Whew. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Drop that leg down. So we're gonna finish with just body weight. Arms are gonna be really, really tight and flexed. You're gonna make a fist. All we're gonna do is have your palms facing down first, isometric, and then we're gonna lift. So up, hold, palms down, up, hold, palms up. Just like this, really tight arms. Okay, I'm gonna count. We're gonna do 76, it has to be an even number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. I don't know why I chose 76. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six. Drop those arms, shake them out. Okay, last move, bicep. All we're gonna do is flex our biceps. And we're gonna pretend we have weights, which we don't, but we're gonna do body weight. Actually, let's have our hands like this, so we're almost doing like a hammer curl. We're gonna start right here, and we're just gonna pulse for 100, you gotta keep those biceps tight the entire time, okay? It'll be a quick pulse. I'll count out every single one. Have the knees slightly bent, feet hip width apart. 
All right, here we go. Shoulders, or shoulder blades squeeze together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who needs weights? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Wow. So, COVID recovery. Thank you guys all for your comments. Please keep them coming and let me know what you have done, if you've had COVID that has helped you. I am not a doctor, like I've said, but I'm just, I wanted to give a little bit of um, my recovery to you guys. And actually I've been recovering with you. So next week, like I said in the intro, I'm gonna hopefully get back to um, regular fitness routine for myself. My heart to your heart as always. Um, have a wonderful self-care day and be safe out there. Bye. Thank you.